my channel competitive botany in the previous video we learnt mendel's greatness in this video we are going to discuss reasons for mendel's success before going to the content if you not yet subscribe my channel please do subscribe thank you let's find out the reasons for mendel's success Gregor Johann Mendel conducted his hybridization experiments on garden pea or edible pea Pisum sativum in the monastery garden although similar work had already been done by contemporary botanists but Mendel studied the inheritance of one character at a time and studied its inheritance through several generations later he paid his attention to two or three characters together this is how mendel achieved what his predecessors could not let's see the exact reasons for his success the pea plant has various contrasting characters but mendel concentrated his attention on a single character in his experiments on inheritance secondly he kept accurate pedigree records for each plant for example he crossed tall and dwarf pea plants to study the inheritance of one gene and third he counted the different kinds of plants resulting from each cross fourthly he analyzed his data mathematically he chose garden peas as a plant material for his experiments only after a careful consideration of a large number of possible plants mendel experimental use of gar garden pea was evidently not an accident but the result of long careful thought there were several reasons for his choice The pea the pea plant is an annual plant and easy to cultivate so several generations can be studied within a single growing season that means it is possible to study several generations within a short period it has bisexual flowers and the flowers are predominantly self pollinating hence pollination could easily be controlled in this plant the reproductive organs were enclosed within the petals hence there were normally always self pollinated and there was no choice for accidental hybridization so the pea plants are homozygous due to self pollination flowers of pea plants are relatively large therefore emasculation and cross pollination are quite easy to do emasculation nothing but removal of anthers from flowers to prevent self pollination cross breeding was done between the parents of pure lines nothing but homozygous plants Finally the hybrids which resulted from a cross between two varieties were completely fertile Pea plant has a number of easily detectable contrasting characters related as dominant and recessive Each character that he followed had two alternative appearances or traits that is tall or short short stems and smooth or wrinkled seeds mendel obtained seeds 34 different varieties from a number of different sources from these he selected 22 varieties which he used during the course of his experiments the uniqueness of mendel was that he kept track of each character separately that he counted the appearance of the different traits from each character among individuals in every generation so mendel selected seven pairs of contrasting characters or traits of the garden pea 
the seven trades having contracting alternatives as shown in the table let's see character dominant character and recessive character seed shape has two alternative phenotypes such as round and wrinkle seed color has also have two alternative characters such as yellow green seed coat color gray white pod shape inflated constricted pod color green and yellow flower position axillary and terminal stem length long and short 